Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in the Outer Worlds. Right now we are on the Unreliable, and we are supposed to look, go to Phineas and see what he has for us, since we basically completed most of the quests on Monarch, if not all of them. But right now, we're on the Unreliable, looking for Parvati. That is because... Someone had to speak to her or something, so... It's oh, Nyoka. Thing, Captain, but hmm. I could have sworn I heard Nyoka crying in her room last night. Oh, well that's not cool. But where's Parvati? Vicar? Um, Spacer's Choice. Is this sir? Parvati's father. She was just here. I know she went up the ladder. I don't think Parvati went this way. God dang it, Parvati. We saw you at the beginning here when you went up that ladder. No, no. Um, break my legs. Maybe she went in the engine room. Ah, there she is. Hey, Captain. I got a thing I want to ask you. It's kind of big. Uh, sure. I was thinking about what you said before, after we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and and ask Junlei to go steady straight out. And I'm thinking of doing it here, on the ship. Uh, bringing her home to meet the family, huh? Bold move, Cotton. Oh gosh, do you think so? I just figured, you know. There's nowhere she can go on Groundbreaker where folks don't know her. Here, she can relax. Hmm, alright, uh... Any way I can help, I, I guess? I need offer. The thing is, I can't ask her over, like, like this. I mean, look at me. I'm all covered in engine grease, and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. I smell like sweat most days, and, well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping... We could stop by Groundbreaker for gas supplies. Um, yeah, yeah, we got a lot of vendors over there. Well, that nice older lady in the rest and go, Miss Gladys, she seemed to know lots of things. Maybe she knows where to find fancy soap. All right, we could we could head straight over. I mean, only if you're not busy, or when you're heading for Groundbreaker for something else. You don't gotta change plans on account of me. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. Because I want to come with. That's fine with me, because actually we have a mission to go back to the Groundbreaker, but I'm not going there immediately. We must, must speak with Phineas. Remember that you are... Yep, I know I'm not insured. Uh, I don't want to take Nyoka. I want to go back to the good old Vika. And of course, Parvati. Not in this playthrough, I really want to stay with them, see how they interact with other people. <clears throat> And what their thoughts are. Ah, Phineas is docking bay. First, I thought we were actually on the Groundbreaker, but we are not. Weaponry, not too bad. Got a pretty good rifles. A few good rifles. Um, yeah, and the gloop gun. Gloom, gloop. You, I'd clap you on the shoulder if I weren't behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Hmm. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. Oh boy. Um, so just tell me what to do. Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa, she's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the dock. Wow. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I've given you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. 
All right. Uh, what should I know about this Carmen person? You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. All right. Anything else? Of course, of course. Um, What's on your mind? Okay, I guess that's it. I guess having 60,000 XP is pretty good. That's, that's a lot of XP. Oof. But at least we're level 23 now. Um, we do have a... Uh, I, I am wearing Elite Trooper Armor. I'm not focused on Sneak, though. I don't really care about this debuff. Ooh, let's do a little bit more... Lying. Engineering. Let's get up to 60. Chance items you repair will become pristine. I like that. Um, science? I like science as well. And medical stuff? I, I've grown to really like medical stuff, but I think we need more lockpicking. Now we're at 60 for lockpicking. In which, see what's inside locked containers? Well, I'm, I'm just here for the stats, really. Beautiful. Alright, let's make it back to our ship. And we could go to Scylla, because we have quests that we could do on Scylla, but let's go to... Byzantium first, because I love Byzantium. 1453 was such a mistake, but you know, whatever, whatever. Uh, let's see. That gloop gun. Oh. oh, whoops, I pressed F instead of R. Oh well, I got plenty of supplies. Actually, I probably have too many supplies to be honest with you, because uh, it's weighing me down quite a bit, apparently. Good, you're back. Not that I missed you. I assure you, I am not capable of such emotional capacity. Don't worry, I've noticed, Ada. I've noticed you're not very capable of that. Uh, Terra 2. Oh, the Byzantium Freight Port Landing. Back into Terra 2. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. All right. I understand we have decided to Can continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Where you want, Ellie? Since we're in Byzantium, there's something I've been meaning to do. And? I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. Shocking, right? Anyway, it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Given the dangerous life I lead, they've got to be worried sick. You don't strike me as a type of guy who keeps in touch. Which brings us to where we are today, several messages and a few years late. See, I'm originally from Byzantium, born and raised. I know that probably comes as a big surprise. And you just want to catch up with them? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't see why you can't go see them when it's convenient. Of course you should re reconnect with your parents. Reconnect is a strong word. And uh, I was thinking you'd come too. Uh, okay. Great. And when we get there, draw out your rough edges a bit. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. Um. You're the boss. Anything else? Uh, you have something to say about chasing down dimethyl sulfoxide? I sure hope you negotiated for a raise with this Phineas guy. Uh, this isn't about money. Ever notice how this job gets bigger and more dangerous every time he calls in? He's asking a lot, Captain. Makes me wonder what your angle is. Well, I don't know. I've just been going along with him for now. Fair enough. But you should know he's not the only game in town. The board's put a bounty on his head, and they've got more than enough bits to pay it. I've got no love for the corporations, but they know how to take care of their people. The ones at the top, anyway. Yeah, might as well aim high. Exactly. You seem to have a good head on your shoulders, so I probably don't need to tell you this, but look out for yourself. No one else out here will. Oh, thanks for the advice. Don't mention it, just speaking from experience. Anything else? Anything else? Look to know more about them. Uh, do I have to take her with me? No, of course not. <laughs> Bijoux. Bijoux. A review. Pristine items are more than shiny. They have more durability and are worth more to vendors. 
Oh! Freight port 9. A little laggy. Oh. My dad taught me some French, you know? Stuff about omelet and, uh, fromage. Omelet? Oh my gosh, are you that? serious? By all means. I would be astounded, yet astronomically in your debt. Oh, yeah, there's nothing at all about eggs and cheese in here. Sorry. Omelette du fromage? <laughs> oh, Cartoon Network. Do you mind? I'm needing someone. Yeah, that's me. Shh. No names, okay? The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. Phoenix? Yeah. That's my code name for... You know. Our mutual friend. Wait, what? Oh. I'm Golden Eagle. Hello, Golden Eagle. Do I have a code name? Um, yeah. I named you Cuckoo. Uh. You have information, right? I'm almost afraid to ask, but <laughs> what's my code yes. name? Yes! You're Rockhopper Penguin. I can't tell whether you're joking. I never joke about tradecraft. Oh, oh, oh! Can I be chicken? Because chickens will adopt any critter's baby and. Keep them warm. You sure you don't want to be Raven or Sparrowhawk? Aww. Okay, okay. Chicken it is. Anyway, you're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. Um, there's got to be a way to catch the Minister. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home, and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. Alright. Can't you get me into the minister's estate? Whoa, I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Alright, what can you tell me? Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Um, thanks for the tip. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. And looks like I got work Good to luck, do. Good luck, Cuckoo. All right, I am the Cuckoo Minister Clock. Oh, is this stealing? Of course not. Corporate troopers, is this stealing? Of course. It's not going to fix itself. Can I take this? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a workbench? No? Oh, 500 XP? Not bad. Retirees. Do they have a generous welfare program? Lucky me. Doesn't seem that old. Maybe middle age. I don't know. Wait. Retiree. There's a lot of retirees here. Anyone interesting? Anyone of interest? No. They're all retirees. Corporate Sentinel. Corporate Technician. Corporate Recruit. Looks like there's a hole in the wall. Toss Ball. There's nothing really around here. Not really interested in stealing stuff and making a scene at the moment. So, where are we? Oh, yes. My loyal companions. I also have some coffee here. And I had a donut before I started uh, recording this. Pretty good donut. Pretty good. Wow, that was a long elevator ride. Why can't something exciting happen around here for once? Nothing wrong with stability. It means everything's running like clockwork. Could I kill myself by jumping Don't down there? Probably. Fun? Maybe see a marauder ship oh. to bits overhead. Janitor. That's quite a big place. Hey you. Yeah, you. Want to be kid? You got presence. Natural magnetism. Know what I mean? I like where this is going. Tell you what. You're gonna like it a whole lot more once we start talking bits. Listen, uh, you got an agent? Some kind of representation? I've got a vicar. 
consider myself a freelance. Fresh natural talent. I know it when I see it. Listen, you got a real special quality, raw energy. I see you in pictures, kid. Ah, the favored mindless entertainment of the unwashed masses. Hey, thousands of viewers and millions of bits can't be wrong. Hey, man. I don't have a thousand viewers. Well, actually, I might have... I don't know. We'll see what happens. What what you offering? I'm making a feature. Space Pirates of Moros Prime. It's gonna be a hit. But we still need a star. And I think you got the chops. Well, I have been told I have a face made for an Aetherwave drama. And pipes to match. Maybe we can get you reading some of our ad segments. So what do you say? You ready for the chance of a lifetime? Ah, sure. Terrific. We're holding auditions at the studio. Head to Odeon Pictures and take the elevator. You're going all the way to the top, baby. This sounds too good to be true. Oh, hello. Oh, Parvati. Uh, the place is closed down. Someone left some chips on the ground. Might as well pick it up and eat it. Music box. Some would say this is as close to godhood we can achieve until we unlock the final secrets of the plan. Me? I'm not so sure. Four Sith. Luxury munitions. Uh, let's see. Closed. Oh. Pardon the mess, we're getting a facelift. God, a lot of these places are closed. Well, it's a vendor, I guess. I guess we could sell stuff. I don't really have very much to sell. I already sold pretty much everything. I can get rid of my junk. Um, just get rid of this stuff. I don't use melee stuff, really. Mm, five? Melee defense. Uh, get rid of three of those. And then... I'm going to keep that. Get rid of two of these. And get rid of one. Why not? Cool. You okay, Bink? I'm joined here by my cat, Binky, of course. Um, well, well, we could go in. Could explore. Let's see what's in here. We're pretty persuasive. Oh my gosh, is this America? Oh, yeah. Corporate guard. Grenade launcher 2. Looking for weapons? You've come to the right place. Every Byzantine needs high-quality armaments, and you won't find better anywhere else. All right, uh, what do you people around here need weapons for? Why, to defend their property, of course. Byzantium is the best of what Halcyon has to offer. It's up to us to protect it. From? Marauders, dissidents, especially large sprats. One never knows what threats might arise. All right, seems a uh, smart man. One can never be too well-armed. Who knows when the hordes may hurl themselves at our gates? Alright, um... Don't really need a trade. We already sold stuff at the vendor. Uh, I could really go to the, through some doors. That's interesting. Very interesting. Bijou Revue. Let's see what's up this way. Who are you? A wealthy citizen? A wealthy patron? Ah, something of exploration. I'm afraid I can't come down anymore, my good man. I'd have to request a counter waiver, and you know how dreadful the paperwork is. Transition of, to Bureau of Exploration. Well, we don't need a transition there yet. How about we go this direction? Maintenance tunnels. I'm on my legally allotted drink. Really, I'm supposed to be here. Oh, you got a um, forehead. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Nothing. Nothing. Why? Uh, does it, does it look like I'm up to something? Laws, I knew it. Uh, you got me. I'm caught, aren't I? Maybe I can help. Yeah, you're in big trouble. I work in the lab at the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Some of my sprats went missing, but it's not my fault, okay? Maybe I let them out more often than regulations allow, but they need to stretch their little legs. And so what if I occasionally forgot to latch their cage? Everyone gets a little distracted now and then. Oh. All right, calm down and tell me what happened. They escaped, and before I could coax them back, they'd made their way to the maintenance tunnels. Even if I did dare go down there, they're among all the common sewer sprats and exterminator mechanicals. I could look for the sprats. Really? 
In that case, take this collection crate. Six of my little ones are down there, but don't worry, you can easily tell them apart from common sewer sprats. They have intelligent eyes, an agreeable yet reserved demeanor, and a fondness for hiding. Also, they're white rather than green. Ah, yes. Please, do take care, and do mind the exterminator mechanicals. If the worst should happen to my little darlings, well, I still want their bodies. For science, of course. We always love their bodies. What are the maintenance tunnels beneath Byzantium for? Well, to maintain things, of course. Like big, humming machine things with gears. And pipes. Water pipes. Air pipes. All sorts of pipes. That's why they connect the city from the Acropolis district to here. Hmm. But you won't go in yourself? Everyone knows sewer sprats carry diseases. And the exterminator mechanicals have been known to fire on larger targets. Why they do that when they're only supposed to attack sprats, I've no idea. But there are rumors. Like? Some people say there are strange things in those tunnels. Assassins. A room full of murderous automechanicals. Monsters hungry for human flesh. Super a mutants. A bureaucratic purgatory where things and people are lost forever. Not that I place any stock in silly rumors, of course. Sounds like fun. Uh, why are there exterminator mechanicals in the tunnels? To deal with the sewer sprats, of course. They're quite the nuisance. Um, you'd be some su surprised that I would help you. I still am. After all, I'm a person of very little influence and only middling prospects. No one does favors for free. But I must say, I'm far too distressed to think critically about your suspiciously kind offer. All right. Well, we'll help him eventually. We must first talk to a minister. All right, go ahead and take everything in there. See what's around here. Oh, not much. Guards, corporate commanders, troopers. Go ahead and oh, five, oh, five percent surcharge. No way. No, 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 no way, man. Um. I suppose I'm allowed in. Guard Mayfield. Howdy. Hey, 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 stand back. You, I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back. <laughs> Didn't know I was talking to such a big shot. Yep, you're looking at the minister's newest personal guard <laughs> right here the others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all what's so important he's basically the most important person in the colony which makes me the most important guard in the colony <laughs> yeah that means i got a key the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. Wow, congratulations. Yep, I've nearly made it to the top, my friend. I'm just two promotions away from on the job bathroom breaks. Can you tell me anything about Minister Clark? Oh, um, he's uh medium height with like medium colored hair and like a kind of a medium face just like in his posters ah descriptive oh you definitely recognize him if you saw him he's very important how about i buy you another drink that's a great idea out of a spectrum vodka captain i can smell him from clear over here i reckon he's had a fair number Sure have, cause today's my big day. He's got powerful good ears too. And a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? All right, here's your promotion. Here's to me. <laughs> hey, you are really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. Wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. 
<laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? All right, I have another. It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Fast drinker. Wow, you've got like this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, like a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, lost. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Oh, there's three of us. All right, let's have another. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Mm, with your BMI, you could metabolize another. Just drink plenty of uh, water. You sure sound like you know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to be sick. It's like me at parties. Just bring two bottles of vodka with you wherever you go. I just need to sit down. Seems like we might need to come back to him in just a moment. <sighs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's a spider mechanical. That looks kind of scary. Hello? Have you tried our new cocktail sponsored by Rizzo's? One part purple spectrum vodka, one part artificial tomato-like substitute juice. We call it a Blue Bloody Mary. All right, yeah. Then you'll want to speak with our auto mechanical inebriation assistant, located just over there. Aren't you the bartender? Quite so, but I would never lower myself to do something as gauche as tending bar. My auto mechanical assistant does all the work for me. All right, I'll ask you something. Oh, by all means, ask away. What's it like here? I don't believe in work. Work is for auto mechanicals and lower classes. Uh, so, are you serious? I don't mean to sound cruel. There's nothing wrong with working. It's just so unnecessary. Why bother? We all have our roles in society. I like to think of myself as an entrepreneur. This drinking establishment is my investment. Uh, do you have any rumors? Do you know Celeste Jolliker? I've heard she's working on some spectacular new design. All right, well, let's go back to the guy. All right, companions, do not do anything. Shh. Hold after breakdown. Nice. Speak to Minister Clock. Oh, did you spawn in here, Parvati? You're such a weirdo. Oh wait, we wanted a drink, right? Oh, we got a weapon breakdown stuff. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. All right, pre-approved. Request confirmed. Banter protocol activated. Welcome, attractive patron, to Billingsley's House of Inebriation. Did you know that I am a priceless heirloom, custom built for the Billingsley family? Please remember to thank Mr. Billingsley for allowing you to bask in my presence. All right, well, whatever. Not that interesting. Let's get to the minister. I've always loved that. I've always loved alcohol. I've always fancied finding new interesting stuff on the floor. Teacup. Canid. There's stuff all over the place. Is this for poor people? If it is, I'll take it. God, no. So we're back here on the streets. What's done in the box? Well, you know what? Let's go help that guy with his problem. Let's go down to the sewers and see what happens. Oh, transition. Ah, oh, Spectrum Vodka. A glass for every class. Oh. Okay, well, whatever. Um, we could do Minister Clark. You might be able to find a way to get to him if we go this way, though. I doubt it, since it doesn't show us for us to go that one way. But you never know. Wait, there's a... A dinghy. There's one of them white thingies. Oh, how much is that worth? 
not bad. City of the Stars, Mr. Clark, Faction, Companion, Quest, Cleansing Products, uh, Space-Time Continuum, Scylla, oh, Cupid of the Laboratory. Got it. Don't want to really damage too many things. Rat. Awesome. Someone got vaporized. Oh. Shock him. You got it, Vicar. Good job, Vicar. Nothing like a religious man telling you what you can and can't do. Or I'll just exterminate you. A lot more fun. Come here to my precious. Oh, hello? Oh. Hello. Ballistics, not very useful against these guys. Yep, there he goes in. There he goes, Parvati. There they go. Oh boy, I might need a little bit of juice. Oh. Oh yeah, and I revived these guys. Nice. A little bit more juice, because why not? Alright, welcome back, companions. How was your nap? Oh, beautiful. Ballistics, not so good against these guys. Oh, there's a worker. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Mag pick. Let's keep going on and finding a couple more beautiful, spratty things. Ah, oh, another body. Oh, dead sprat. A lot of dead sprats. Anything that way? Lab sprat, yes. Sprat hide. Sprat. Double the sprat hide. More sprat hides. There's so many sprats. Space rats. Oh, there's a workbench around here. Well done. Very nice. Anything that I need that no one else will ever need again? Dead sprats. Someone dropped their skin tough salve. Salve. Oh, there must have been an ID there. Oh, man. Every time I can just see what's inside, I just want to just keep pressing E to pick everything up. Um, oh. More sprats. I'm not really here to kill all of you. Not my problem if they infest the area. Not really. Let's go grab that sprat. Around here. Hello. No, 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 no. Did I get it? I got it. La oh, lab sprats over there. Nice. Very good. Oh, another way around here. This bard. Hmm. Lab sprat. Lab sprat. What are we going to get today? We're going to get a couple more lab sprats. Another body. Oh, we're going this way. Ooh, is there something this way? Pick it, because why not? We got just enough lock picking to do this. I I can do that. A workbench, nice. Yeah, I need to invest more in my lock picking. Ooh. Nicely done. You know what? Since we're here, let's break down whatever we have already. Yeah, I could sell this, but whatever, I don't care.
Lab sprats. Lab sprats. Oh, hello. You ugly. That's a big mama. That's the last of Your body is uh getting a little crazy there. Uh, Parvati, please. We already have Sam. Oh. Nice, right control. Hunting rifle ultra. Not bad, not bad. We'll probably come back this way eventually to, um, go up that area that we could, we should not have gone through, but I opened it up anyways because why not? Alright, looks like we have to get back to get that lab sprat. Very good. One more. Aw, oh, sleeping like Binky. He's sleeping on my chair right now. Alright, let's get back up this way. Transition! Ah, we changed it. Spectrum Vodka. Red. Not purple this time, but red. Alright. Very nice. Oh. Any luck finding my sprats? They're all dead. Truly? Why, this is marvelous! And all safe and sound. Oh, Reginald, Philippa, Vonda, Haroon, Iskander, Evelyn, I'm never letting you out of my sight again. Please, take this. It's not much, but it's the best I can offer for the safe return of my darlings. Now, I've got to get back to the lab before my supervisor logs my absence. All right, well, I mean, 8,000 XP isn't great, but, you know, at least it's something. My dear fellow, you... We did something on this planet so far. Halcyon Parcel Service. Oh, well, I want to go straight to the minister and see what happens. Right. Odin Pictures. Oh, eh, we could do that, but we'll wait. Byzantium Citizen, Estates. Today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. Oh, can I hop over? Yep, I'm jumping fences now. Revenue streams and All I'm system. saying is, our lives are predestined upon a path that is only visible in retrospect. This is where those who fancy themselves the best and brightest of our society live. Trespassing here is a true honor. Oh, they didn't like that. Nothing happened. This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. I'm here for Minister Clark. Less funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Oh, I sure am. Sure you are. And what is it you're delivering today? I didn't bring it with me. Typical. Why don't you come back when you're ready to actually make a delivery? All right. Well, let's go back to that parcel service and uh, see what happens. I don't want to intrude upon too many people. Just enough people. Can't go through there. Retrieve the minister's parcel. Like that shunt. Ah, Billingsley. Oh, the parcel's down there. You could hop across, but... Well, oh, looks like we're going back in that elevator shaft. And I might be breaking some legs. Come on. Oh, maybe not. Oh, wait. Oh, it's right here. Alright. HPS. No, they don't like that. Olive Yates. A fine day for parcel pickups, isn't it? Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. All right, what do you do here? Halcyon Parcel Service is the most dependable parcel delivery service in the colony. You might even say we're part and parcel of Halcyon's commercial enterprise. That's just a little parcel joke. Alright, so if someone needed a package delivered, they come here? Nope. 
Just parcels. We don't deal in packages. Too big, too big, right? Do you have a parcel waiting? We do, in fact, have a parcel here for a Mr. Clark, comma, minister. I'm here to pick it up. You're not an official member of the Halcyon Parcel Service Team. That means you'll have to sign a release form. And how do I do that? Oh, I'd have to submit a request for a release form, and then wait for a receipt for my request of a release form. Then you'd have to make an appointment. And how long does it take? Couldn't say. We've got a backlog, and I'm planning on retiring in the next 35 years, but I could give my successor a memo on your behalf. Hmm. I don't have time for this. You're welcome to lodge a complaint in our suggestion box. Actually, no. We're still waiting on our delivery of a new suggestion box. Uh, the minister's here in Byzantium. I'll make the delivery, and you're free to take the credit. You do that? Wow. Hey, you know, a positive review from the minister would go a long way in my semi-monthly employment audit. Here's your parcel to be delivered to Mr. Clark, comma, minister. Law speed. Thank you. Well then, all you gotta do is talk to, talk to people in there and they'll do whatever you want. Wanda Chen. I'm afraid I can't help you at the moment. Have a prosperous day. All right. Move along. Move along. I'm the teller here. I could lockpick, but nah, I'm not feeling it. Alright, well, I definitely came in the back way. That was pretty easy, actually. Pretty easy. Hmm, let's go see if we can walk into his room. Or meet the minister, maybe? Perhaps? Alright, is there a ladder around here? We'll just go up the stairs. There we go. Mm, maybe I should have invested a perk point into running or even walking a little bit faster. Oh well. Byzantium Estates. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Whoa. You know, that's just the sort of thing folks say when they're trying to hide something. I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. Delivery for the minister. Yeah. Let's see it. All right, this parcel. Hmm. Looks like your papers are in order. We got All papers. Right. Go on through. Thank you for your time. Before I blast your head off. Oh, Minister Clark. Oh, Minister Clark, comma. No, Mr. Clark, comma, Minister. Nope. And how about in here? No one's in here, so I needed to relieve myself. And I'm gonna relieve myself of taking all their stuff. God dang it, you close this stupid door. There you go. Technician. Corporate guard. Just opening everything up to explore. Corporate trooper, there's so much troopers around here. Could go to Byzantium. Could open this. It's a bar. Is that a cake? Oh no, it's just like a checkers board or something. Ooh, darts. Wait, how do you win this? Oh, I guess you can only get a bullseye. You can only get up to there around. Okay. Nothing right there. Well, let's go up the stairs then. Don't mind me just looking around and taking everything that isn't nailed down if I can. Oh. Um, thank you. This isn't this isn't stealing when it's on the middle floor. Good to know. No, there's too many people around me. Nah, too many people. I know when to behave myself and when to behave appropriately. Oh. Someone angry at the board game? How did you get in here? Hello. You. You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh, my law. Captain, Captain, that's the minister. Mr. Clark. Oh, wow. Who? Minister Clark, what a remarkable honor it is to meet you. 
If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. Hmm. I'm not doing any more. All right. Uh, what are you talking about? Slowly and loudly, Aloysius. That's the only way these morons understand anything. I said you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. All right, calm down. Then you're not part of Rockwell's PR team. That means you're a dissident? A real live dissident? But what are you doing here? And how did you get in? I just kind of walked on in. You think I'm a dissident? My friend, the slightest demonstration of independent thought or action renders one a dissident in the board's rather expansive definition of the term. Which is why I'm dying to know what brought you here. I'm um, looking for something. Drugs, of course. What else? Why did I get my hopes up? Back to idiot speak. Bruh. I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. What is this system coming to when even the Earth Minister is disillusioned beyond hope? Will that be all then? I have records proving you're hoarding dimethyl sulfoxide. They're not drugs or chemicals. Process of elimination. The only other person with access? Of course, of course. It's Rockwell again. Who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. Alright, back up and tell me what's going on. Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name, but this proves it. You've been all alone in this house? Would would you like me to make you tea? Please, this is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. Alright then, uh, do you expect me to believe this? After seeing this place, is it really a stretch? I've been confined to this house for years, and even I can tell you, things aren't right in Halcyon. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Believe me, things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. You talking about our economy? Captain. We must investigate Rockwell. An injustice like this cannot go unchecked. Indeed, it cannot. I can't overstate the urgency of the matter. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. All right, just tell me how to get there. Via the Acropolis District, nice. of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnel. Oh, you bet there is. Afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. All right, then what? When you reach the HHC building, this nice. access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. All right, I'll be on my way then. Wait. Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, Our chance? take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. Alright, um... You can count on me. Good. Halcyon is in dire need of someone like you. Interesting. Alright, level 24. Nice. Just barely enough XP to do this, so... Let's finish off by doing this. Hack... Looks pretty good to get to 60. Um, intimidate, give me two. And here we will invest in two more medical. And um, science, sounds like fun. And medical, let's do that, awesome. And finally, we'll do the perk. Hmm, area of effect damage. Melee damage returned his health. Eh, don't really use melee. 
Science weapon damage. Damage while under 25% health. Mm, science weapon damage. Health restored per kill. Consumable weight. That seems pretty good to me. And that dropped off almost a little less than like 80 or 90 weight. But regardless, that's all the time for that we have today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode and hope you enjoyed Byzantium. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link below. And I hope you all have a great, great day as we move to the chairman's office. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great, great day.